Hey hello, guys, everyone. how are you? Hello, Fantastic. hello. How are you, Michelle? I'm good. I'm excited that all four of the All Ears English team were all here today and we're all going to chat it out. And guys, this episode is on YouTube. It is also on the regular podcast, so you can watch this if you want to. You can listen to it. You can do whatever you want. But the exciting thing is that all of us are here. So yes. how's everybody doing today? Fantastic. Doing great, Michelle. How are you? I'm good. Guys, we are going to get into something really great today. You are used to listening to usually just two people on the podcast, but here we are, four people. And this is really crucial to your listening skills practice, right? What do you guys think about that? Having four people on instead of two? I think it's answering so many students' needs and questions. I mean, how often do we get um, messages from students that are like, I can understand you guys on the podcast so well, right? Because there's two of you. It's, you know, I, I can understand you guys. I can follow. Why can't I do that in the real world? So that's what we're trying to help you guys with, guys. It's, it's almost impossible to find material to help you. It's like, here's a textbook. Now go be fluent in English in real life. Right. That's impossible. So that's what we're trying to help you with, guys. Yes. Yeah. Or if there are multiple speakers, it's so often scripted. And they're, mm -hmm. re, you know, giving prepared lines or reading. So this is a real native conversation, very similar to the conversations you'll have with friends in real life. Yes. Right. And so the conversation you're going to hear today is very similar to what you will hear from our Conversations and Coffee program. So that is, if you sign up, if you go to allearsenglish.com slash fast, that's where you can sign up. And there you get a weekly, you know, conversation with three or four of us where you can practice your listening skills, you get a quiz, you get vocab, and you get a transcript. So this is something that you cannot get anywhere else. And there are super, super fun topics. We don't choose something. <laughs> Thing unless we can talk about it and unless we can have fun with it. So good topics, great listening practice. So let's get into it. We are going to get to a very fun question today, and I'm curious what you guys will say. So the question is, if you could be famous, would you want to be? Who wants to start? Should I call on someone or do we have any takers? <laughs> I oh, got Lindsay, it. Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay. Oh, I want to hear from Lindsay. Okay. You go first. <laughs> Uh, so if I were, would I want to be famous? If I could, would I yes. want to? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Just to see what it's like. I would. I would. What, what, <laughs> what, what would you want to be famous, famous for? for? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So <laughs> I just saw the movie Gucci over the weekend and I thought House that was of fun. Gucci? Yeah. It wasn't oh, the best movie. It was, it was a little terrible. bit long. But so I actually think it would be kind of cool to be a famous fashion designer just because it's so the opposite of what I know and do, right? I do not do fashion. I do not, I need help for my friends and family. Disaster. I never know what goes together. I don't like, I'm not, so something that is so totally different. I think it'd be fun to be a famous fashion designer. It's fascinating mm. to me that you left that movie thinking, I would like to be a famous fashion designer, not like murder and like horrible people. <laughs> True. Well, we all take something funny. different. Right? <laughs> yeah, different exactly. Takeaway. What about you, Jessica? Would you want to be? Would you want to be famous? Sure. Yeah. Totally. Uh, let's see. I would want to be like a famous like actress or something, being like super yeah. cool movies and TV shows and stuff. Um, yeah. I mean, who? Gosh. Yeah. Who doesn't want to be famous? I don't know. Okay. Aubrey. Aubrey doesn't okay. Be we have a raised hand, guys. <laughs> I are absolutely on would not want to be famous because I really value my privacy. I want to be able to go to the park mm -hmm. and not have to worry about people taking pictures of my kids, or I don't want to have to wear makeup or a bra you know what I mean like I don't want people <laughs> following me around especially the more I, I hear about um, Blake Lively and what's her his name Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds are a really good example where they have just really had difficulties with keeping their children out of the media and away from like <laughs> paparazzi photos and they're like constantly having to um, contact people to say, take those pictures off like Instagram. Mm. And it's, I, it just sounds miserable to me. So I would not want to be worried about my kids' safety. I've run into a few famous people with their kids in New York really? City. Mm -hmm. And you could just see 
how like worried they were that they're they're like so worried about their kids either being abducted or just like pictures of them in the media i'm like Mm. i would not want that life you know what i mean i wouldn't want to be recognized for my face maybe i could be a famous author where people don't know what i look like Hmm. (laughs) but like like i have read about or heard about celebrities that really um create a life that is out of the spotlight and they do that successfully like they don't live in la they don't live in new york like they have you know like a ranch in idaho or something and then um so i i do think it's possible possible. i know it's harder for sure but you're rich like you could do it like if you're that like rich and famous you could create a life for yourself somewhere else and then the other thing is like when you do see famous people in real life they don't look exactly like the do no. on tv like i think a lot of a lot of famous people you, i don't know maybe you don't recognize them right away because they don't they're not like perfect mm-hmm. i don't know well that's the mm-hmm. other thing i'll see pictures in whatever celebrity magazines you know people magazine i'm like oh i feel so bad for them that they're like they're putting yeah. these terrible pictures where they're making a weird face and they don't have makeup on and this magazine <laughs> for everyone to see i don't want someone to see that photo of me <laughs> Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. It's not like them at their best on the red carpet all the time. It's just right. whatever they look like getting coffee. Yeah, that's why coffee. they're always wearing sunglasses, right? Uh-huh. They're always yeah. huge sunglasses covering their Hiding faces. Their face. mm-hmm. But that's why one of the cool things about like somebody like Amy Schumer is like she is unapologetically, you know, herself, whether or not she's, she's cool. You know, so like, cause sometimes I'd like, I follow her on Instagram and she just posts things. She doesn't care if she's wearing makeup. She just kind of right. like, she just owns just it and life. she's like well this is she's me awesome. and so you could choose to be like that um yeah so so in that way like i like kind of celebrities who are more real like that yeah, and you sure. can you can see them in their natural habitat i wonder no. if that depends <laughs> though it looks amazing yeah. without makeup i've seen them i look like a naked mole rat without makeup oh. i can't mm-hmm. pull it off like amy schumer yeah. can pull it off uh, I wonder if that depends, though, too, on their role. Amy Schumer does, like, comedic roles, right? She's a funny yeah. – is she a yeah, stand-up yeah. comedian as well? Yes. Uh-huh. Is she Okay. So I wonder if that's just kind of quirky personalities that yeah. always play a certain type, right? What about other people who are playing a very polished, you know, very feminine woman? Could she also be quirky like that in the real world, I guess? Um, who is – not Jennifer Aniston. Who was married to Ben Affleck for a little while? Um, Jennifer, Jennifer Garner. Garner. Yeah, she has a really yeah. funny Instagram channel where she's baking. Have you seen that? Mm-mm, she's no. really quirky in that. So she's totally that herself and super funny. So that could be an example oh, cool. of someone who's played very typical female roles and is very quirky on social media. So Yeah, I love how yeah. she's she, just like a mom. Like whenever yeah. we see her, I'm like, yeah. she's just a mom who happens to act. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's how it feels. Right. Yeah. So I think it is kind of in a way like – I don't know if it's more like society's responsibility or the individual celebrity's responsibility to like, you know, you said, oh, Amy Schumer is a stand up comedian, so she can, you know, act like that or, you know, just portray yeah. herself in a certain way and others can't like that's not really I, I feel like, oh, we have this. Some people have this unfair expectation of what a celebrity should look like. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if it's really their responsibility to be like, no, like here, I'm a real person. Or is that not their responsibility? And they they just are out there in their, you know, red carpets doing that stuff. And then otherwise they're pretty private. I don't know. The other interesting thing is like, um, I feel like celebrities have more of pressure or a lot of them at least seem like they feel pressure to get like plastic surgery and Botox and yeah. whatever to keep looking yeah, young, right. especially women. Especially ladies, I really yeah. appreciate someone like Frances McDormand who's like, no, I'm going to yeah, love her. her. Whatever. But yeah. most women who are older start looking so plastic and scary because they're trying to look young still and it's a bummer that they have that pressure it is yeah Yeah. no it's terrible because then like the you can always tell when there has been Mm. too much surgery and they look terrible like they still look they're trying to avoid looking terrible but they end up looking terrible but in like an alien way like it's fine to be like a natural you know like some wrinkles and some extra skin and you know stuff like that but to be like like yeah. this, I read this interesting time. thing with the new Top Gun movie coming out where mm-hmm. the female lead in the older awesome. Top Gun movie 
was like not approached like they don't want she's like i look like an older you know she's like i haven't had a lot of work done so she's like they weren't interested at all and meanwhile you know it's tom cruise still but with like younger women though i think it was Uh, jennifer connelly that was cast and she's not super young but i don't know if she's had work done but anyway she was like really calling it out that she's like absolutely not she's like i'm not offered any roles now because i just look like an older interesting Oh. I think it is so. It is so interesting how we're talking mostly about women here, and uh, right, you know, like, fascinating. Like, and, and like guys you know, are allowed yeah. to sort of age and start getting white hair yep. and look older, and it's fine. Totally. They can still date a twenty-five-year-old <laughs> in the movies, yep. anyway. <laughs> It's such a double standard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, when I think about this, it makes me angry. It's true. And it's it not does. just in the movies. It's in everyday life, yeah. you know? I, oh, yeah. I love when I see, like, um, um, gosh, I wish I could think of an example. But there are a few just, like, gorgeous... famous women out there who have like much younger husbands or boyfriends and it's always seems like a bigger deal right and i like i'm like yes you go for it like it's so exciting (laughs) because men just like they just feel like it's their right like oh like i'm a man i could do i could have whoever and ladies are like oh it's not appropriate i'm people will think badly of me or whatever olivia munn's a good example i think she and jason sudeikis just got divorced and now she's with what's his name from olivia wilde harry styles yeah i know well i'm a ted lasso i'm I'm a ted lasso fan so i'm I'm, you do well so yeah like i don't know i'm kind of I mean, I don't really follow celebrity anything, but I did follow that specifically because of Ted Lasso, and that just made me upset. So good for her, for Harry Styles, and for what Jess said, but like... Yeah, mm. I know. I love Jason (laughs) Sudeikis. Quick aside, I saw Jason Sudeikis once in New York leaving 30 Rock. He was doing SNL at the time, and I thought I knew him from, like, church. I was like, did you talk to him? (laughs) Church. Did you talk oh, my husband out? was like, no, no, it's not. Stop. 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 <laughs> I was like, that's dead as weird and gotten That's hilarious. I love him. Just like, before the show, I was like, oh, he's fine. But like now from the show, I love him. Anyway, so I guess, you know, that we have to think about if we were celebrities, like, would we be, you know, nervous to be out in the open? Would, would you be the type of celebrity who lives somewhere else and is very private? Just really mm. quickly. Let's just go through before we head out. How would you live your life as a celebrity? Uh, Jess? I would live in a small town. I would mm. just be, just live my life away from wherever I had to work, I think. Um, yeah, I do hear interviews with celebrities that are very kind and they love meeting fans. Like Conan O'Brien, he like, oh, he wants to connect with everybody and like, yeah, you know, that, sign yeah. everybody's Keanu things. Reeves I, is that way. Mm. Oh God, he's so cool. He just like rides um, the subway. Hey. I I, like I, I, could, I couldn't do that. Like I couldn't have people in in my space all the time. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so Especially I'd like isolate myself. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Then what's the point of being famous? I guess you have money. the money. Right. <laughs> the money. Yeah, the the money. money. The money. And, like the fun money movies. and yeah. doing like really getting to be like a really unique, cool, talented person that people can respect your unique, amazing talent. We already have right? that, though, like, Jessica. You already. Have I was gonna say we all respect so your just the unique, money. amazing talent. Um, uh, Aubrey, what about you? What kind of famous person would you be? Would you be yeah, hiding? I would hide. Or would you... I would hide. Yeah. I would live in a country where people don't care nearly as much about celebrities. I for sure wouldn't live in the United mm-hmm. States yeah. and mm. in like a little cabin in the middle of nowhere. Especially if I had kids. Maybe if I were single or didn't have kids, I I would care i wouldn't care yeah, about being yeah. wherever and and noticed maybe it'd be fine no because i still don't want to wear makeup i would hide uh-huh. i would be somewhere <laughs> why, are you, why do you have to wear makeup as a celebrity because i look like a what? naked mole rat if you I don't, do i'm so. sure you don't oh my gosh you look, like a, <laughs> look up a picture of a naked mole rat online and that's oh all right and then i'm gonna have <laughs> you send me no I you like, are so eyelashes. silly <laughs> Lindsay. what about you no away well, I think in the beginning, I would have to be in L.A. just to make a career for myself. You know, pay your dues, make the connections, go to the yet, parties. Though, right? Yeah, exactly. So, right. So as you're getting famous, then eventually when I had the notoriety and people knew me, I'd probably leave L.A. But I think you do need to probably put in your time. Yeah, you'd have to. At, yeah. As people start to notice you little by little. Yeah, and or you wouldn't what do they roles. say? Rub elbows, as they say. Yeah, absolutely. Big money. 
Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. All right. Well, guys, thank you for sharing your thoughts here on fame and makeup and mole rats. Um, that's crazy. Fame, makeup, guys, and mole rats. Fame, makeup, and mole rats. Um, guys, so remember, if you want to get in on more of these group conversations about super fun topics that it may or may not include naked mole rats, then go to allearsenglish.com slash fast, F-A-S-T. This is our conversations and program, at conversations and coffee program. Guys, you'll be working on your listening skills with multiple speakers. You've got a quiz, transcript, and vocab every week. So get in on that today, guys. This was a lot of fun, and you, I think you'll really love this program if you start it today. For sure. It's so great. All right. Awesome. awesome. Thanks for hosting, Michelle. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.